。在一些犯罪事件当中，法医被形容为死者的代言人，借由各种检查来帮助已经无法说话的被害人说出真相。但是在美国呢，并不是每个验尸官都像 CSI 演影集里面演的那么神那么炫。今天晚上十点钟，公视频道的纪录片《死亡代言人》就要带您到美国来了解死亡鉴定的乱象。电视影集《CSI 犯罪现场》里，神探们以利落的身手勘验现场，用精密的仪器搜集物证，在目眩神迷的电脑科技实验室里，做出令人叹为观止的研判，将凶手的犯罪手法和死者的死因一一重现。但真实世界并非如此。I myself have worked with a single light dangling over my autopsy tape. We've had to hire a refrigerated truck to store bodies and body parts because we just don't have enough room in our refrigerator. 成就不堪的法医设备显示出政府对这一块领域并不是那么的重视。在美国，每天有将近七千人死亡，绝大部分没人知道真正死因。缺乏经验与训练的医师每天在各州执行粗糙的尸体解剖，而每年更有多达两百五十万的美国人没有经过任何检查就进入坟墓。There are coroners trying to carry out death investigations, but they don't have the training, they don't have the money, they don't have the infrastructure, and they don't have the skill. I guess you really have to ask yourself, do you want your cause of death and your manner of death? To be decided by someone in medicine who has special competency to do that. 在美国有超过一千三百个郡的验尸官是选举产生，没有专业知识，有的甚至没有高中学历。他们被认为和执法单位过从甚密，经常配合上级做出上级希望的死因认定。这片死亡代言人抽丝剥茧，揭露了美国令人难以置信的法医乱象。记者综合报道。